Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerd Ed's Newsstand, and I have made several videos on this topic, but now that the show has come to an end, I want to talk a little bit more, because I do think some stories cannot be updated for a modern era, and actually deserve to live in a time capsule of when they were created. One such is Why the Last Man. This is a story about survival, about values. And about politics, it's about society trying to rebuild itself after a plague wipes out every mammal with a Y chromosome. What values would you still hold dear and how would you deal with that trauma? Would you look inward at the end of the world? What would you hold dear? Is it your party within the government? Is it your identity? Whether you are the last white cis male, a trans man, a gun-toting Republican, or is it which party you belong to, like Jennifer Brown becoming president in a Republican-led administration when people are scared, as they should be in this situation? They look for someone to make sense of the world falling all around, all around them. And that leads us to different factions, including the government, the Amazons, and of course, York 355 and Allison Mann. And this is where a real life culture war meets the war within the show. The idea of being inclusive is oddly offensive to some, and Allison describes it the best way within the show. Not everyone with a Y chromosome is a man. And this brings us to why some dislike the show. First off, there are a couple reasons. But. We're going to start with gender identity. When do we get to a point where we stop making someone else's identity, gender, sexuality, political? When do we stop calling it pandering and representation instead of just calling it reality? Our world is not homogenous. Our world is vast and ever growing. Overton's window has shifted to a point where we should be more accepting yet some refuse to do so. And, and not all can be blamed on this. We also have a lot of changes to the Israeli storyline for clear reasons such as Israeli descent, leaving characters and storylines completely out of the show, like Alter Tessie Leon. Uh, she was colonel of the Israeli Defense Force. Meaningful characters tossed to the side for a chance at inclusion. And the want not to offend. Same with the storyline on cloning. Playing God with genetics. And the idea of using stem cells for genetic research. That was a big part of Alice and Mann's storyline. And it was tossed to the side. Now, I did enjoy the show. Absolutely thought it was great. But it didn't feel like Why the Last Man anymore. Because so much had changed. There was a lot taken out for the idea of the modern era. And that is where I think the issue was with this. You didn't update it in a way that even felt modern. And you shouldn't have updated it because this isn't an old story. We're talking 20 years. Now, there was like Alter Tese Leon. I'm sure I'm saying that last name wrong because of the tension with Israelis that was left out or with Israel. I'm sorry. Um, there was very little history put in this show about 355 and the culprit ring, which was a very real thing that within this history never got pushed to the side and diminished. Right. So we had 355 in the culper ring and a lot of other people, but nobody knew actually what that was. Not only that, you left out stuff like the amulet. And when we see 355 leading, leaving Jordan, and actually in the show, she was never in Jordan. Was it the amulet that caused it? You didn't raise the tension of what caused the men to die. What caused everybody with a Y chromosome to die? Was it the amulet? Was it Alice and Mann playing God as a clone? 
Was it the astronauts? Was it maybe York himself? You did not give us any reason to guess and theorize. And that is a big deal. They didn't even include the astronauts in the original show, in the original graphic novel, I'm sorry. There was the idea that there was three astronauts in space. York, maybe not the last one around that can reproduce. And that ends up going south. But the idea that there was still holding out hope for more Y chromosomes was gone. It felt very much so like when adapting, and that's what I blame this on, is that adaptation for a modern audience, you lost so much. Now, there was some great additions. I don't want to take away from that. There was some great additions. The way that they did in the beginning, Hero's boyfriend's death, the married man she's sleeping with, yeah, She accidentally kills him. I thought that was a great addition. That actually surprised me right out of the gate and got me wanting to watch more. Now, actually looking at the character, which was a huge reveal of Victoria, who is the main leader of the Amazons within the graphic novel, being Nora and having a small child, that was a great addition too. I actually should have seen that one coming, but I didn't. Adding Kimberly, a character very much so like Megan McCain, was a great addition. It showed clear party lines, and it was really well done. Sam Jordan, probably one of my favorite characters within this. He was felt very human. He felt very much so like he just wanted the best for Hero, and... Unfortunately, she was a hot mess, but that was her character always. Great addition. Absolutely great addition. But the additions do not make up for what you left out. And going back through before I made this video, I wanted to go back through because I'm like, yeah, they stuck pretty close to source material. I haven't read it in 10, 15 years. No, they actually swayed away so much so I feel like that is a reason for the blame. Now, I don't, and I know this will be in the comment section. I know there will be a lot of people saying it was woke politics, da, 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 da. I don't think that had anything to do with it. I think it had more to do with bad writing, plus the show was on Hulu. Hulu was owned now by Disney. This is a DC property, right? It comes from the Vertigo line at DC Comics in the early 2000s. You can't have those mash. I'm hoping This does get picked up by HBO Max. And it did kind of tie it with a bow. And we saw at the end, basically, um, York, Allison Mann, and and, um, 355 heading off to the Culper Ring. Okay. All right. That's your, your little bow that you added there. But just doesn't feel like they really had the skill of writing this story and adapting it from graphic novel to television. It feels like the writing was where this show is to blame. And I do love like there was little Easter eggs they added in. In the beginning of the graphic novel, you have this conversation about Elvis. He had a twin. It was stillborn. And that actually didn't take place in the show until the last episode. And it was a really great addition because I remember that conversation because I had no idea about Elvis's twin stillborn right also the Victoria reveal was probably the best reveal in the entire show I absolutely love Nora I love the actress in the boys anyway and the fact that this was this character all along was awesome um we had Roxanne who was a new addition leading the Amazons. And then, you know, she was the one with the one breast. Initially in the graphic novel, they all cut off one breast because it helps with a bow. It's a thing the Amazons used to do. But hers was from breast cancer, right? So I don't think they wanted to go to that grotesque measurement of actually showing cutting off of a woman's breast. But there was great Easter eggs in it. Not a lot. But it was never an issue of inclusivity or politics. 
It was not using what you had. You used the bones, maybe, and that's being generous, but you never developed the body. And without a developed body, the whole thing falls apart. In a diverse, divisive political climate such as we live in today, the shining light in this show was 355. I hope I see her, this actress, and many more things to come. I love her from her smile to the way she talks. She was amazing. But this show was always destined to fail. If you don't hire the writing, if you don't do the research, if you don't put the time in, you can't expect your audience to do the same. And that's a shame. Anyways, let me know, of course, what you guys think about Why the Last Man. I'm going to finish the rest of the volumes. I'm up to three right now, rereading them. And I think it's a much more entertaining issue than anything you're going to get out of FX. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.